For today's video, I wanted to go over how to use a grease gun and the best places to grease your boat. So we've had the tracker now for a couple months and getting to be about that time where we should start looking into doing some greasing. There's a few spots that I've noticed that really take well to grease and give a much more um, smoother performance out of your boat and trailer. So I want to go over my favorite spots to grease, how to use a grease gun, and how to use the grease points. To get started, first I wanted to go over the basics of your grease gun and grease. The grease I've decided to go with is the Quicksilver Marine Grease. This is the waterproof grease. It helps with rust and corrosion formulated for high temperature and high load applications. So pretty much it should work for your bearings and you know trailer greasing, your steering components and some other little spots that I wanted to show you. So first things first, <clears throat> this is a grease gun. If you've ever used a caulking gun, it works very similar. The grease canister will get loaded this side in first, pump the handle and the grease comes out the other end. Now, if you just need a little grease for like spot applications, you can just um, squeeze a little bit and it'll come out. There's already some grease in there, so I'll just give it a little, little squeeze to show you. And a little bit comes out. And then if you're just trying to grease something small, you can actually just wipe that up with your finger and then, you know, grease to, you, to your needs. Now, normally I wouldn't recommend doing this on your boat carpet because grease can get everywhere. And I would also recommend a dedicated grease towel because once you use it for grease you won't be able to use it for anything else this is a spare microfiber I had so we'll be using that for today okay so since this grease canister is pretty much out I'm gonna go ahead and take that one out and then I'll show you how to install the new one okay so to open the grease gun and remove the canister we're just rotating it it's a screw on top to the canister As you can see, there's a little bit of grease left behind. That's no problem. We're gonna go ahead and slide the old canister out. All right, now the old canister has been removed. Okay, with the old canister removed, I'm gonna go ahead and prep the new one. So to do that, we open the pop top lid. You have to remove the back cover as well, so your plunger can push the grease through to the other side. Slide that all the way in. Make sure your plunger is pulley fully out. All right, with the plunger fully out, the canister slides all the way in, and then we just screw our top back on. Now the good part about the way all of the grease points are with the Tracker Classic and most boats nowadays, is that they all use grease fittings. So the way that works is this end will plug into a grease fitting. You pump in grease until you see grease come out the exit port, which will flush the old grease out. So this works for your trailer wheels and for any of the grease fittings. So to get started, we're gonna start with the steering linkage grease point. You attach the tip to the grease point by just sliding it onto the point. It won't really click, <clears throat> it won't really click or anything, but you'll know it's on there because when you pull back, it doesn't come right off. I'm gonna go ahead and start pumping the handle. You can start to feel a resistance on the handle once it's really going. Now I'm just pumping it and eventually, oh, you got some grease coming out here. And we got some grease coming out the other end. Now, normally when grease has been used, it, it's going to look more dark gray because there's bits of metal and everything in it. But this is pretty recently greased. So it's going to look like the old grease I had in there. Now that we've let the grease push through and cycle out some of the old grease, I'm going to go ahead and get the extra old grease wiped up to remove the grease tip. You just give it a firm tug while you're wiggling it around and it should come right off additional place you want to grease when you're doing your steering is this rod here this rod here this rod travels in and out 
of this unit here. So putting a little grease on this will again make everything much smoother for you. And then use our finger to apply it. All right, so on this side of the engine, we're going to use this grease point here. And this will affect also how easily the engine turns. So when using this grease point, the grease is going to travel up the cylinder and come out to the top. As you can see, there's some old grease left in there still. All right, so first the fitting goes on. And then we're gonna pump the new grease in. And like last time, we're looking for the grease to start traveling out the exit point so we know that it's flushing the old grease out. And we can see that happening on the top. Now the last grease point is actually a little hidden and it's, <clears throat> you're looking at the assembly. It's right there. So again, grease point on. I'm gonna pump it. This grease, you can see that coming out pretty quick. Go ahead and catch this as it comes out. Wait till we see green for the new grease. I think we're pretty good. All right, now that our motor's been greased up, you can feel it turning extremely smooth. And this is gonna be really nice when you're out on the water. So the next stop on our greasing journey is going to be the trailer. So this works very similarly to the engine greasing. There's gonna be grease points that we put new grease in to flush out the old grease. All right, with the cap pulled off now, to get to our grease point, it's gonna be behind this rubber seal. Okay, so this rubber seal will just pop right off. Just get them behind it and pull it. And you can see in there is your grease. This works the same way. We're gonna attach our grease fitting to the grease point. Okay, and we're gonna pump it till we see grease come out. After pumping some new grease in there, you can see the red grease had started to push out. This grease still looks pretty good, so I'm not going to waste grease by re-greasing this too much. But you get the idea. After you've done your bearings, the cap will just go right back on. Okay, once you have your seal back on, make sure this is sealed all the way so you don't get any dirt into your bearings. And then your hub just slides right back on to the wheel nuts. This is also a great time to check the torque on your lug nuts to make sure that they are still tightened down. Just one little push will put it back on and that's how you do your wheels. You would just repeat the same step for the other side. With your grease gun out, there's a couple more tips I have for places to grease that's gonna make your overall boating life a lot easier. The first is going to be the threads on your seat posts. These can very easily get rusty or stuck along with the post and adding just a little dab of grease, just take a little bit to your threads, as well as just a little tiny bit on the pole itself will make taking these in and out so much easier. Now spot number two I can't show you at the moment, but basically grease your ball hitch on the back of your towing vehicle. It will make the cap slide into place a lot easier. A lot of people don't have problems trailing up their boat. That's great. If you just want to make it a little bit easier for yourself, um, the ball hitch, a little bit of grease, this lip will slide right on. Alternatively, you can also just grease the back of this lip here. As you can see, there's still grease on mine. So that makes it a lot easier to do. Now on the front of the boat, Basically anything that has gears could use just a tiny bit of grease. I like to put a little bit on the teeth here, which makes cranking it slightly easier and smoother and less wear on the metal components. So my last tip and probably the most significant quality of life improvement you can do for yourself through grease is by greasing your trolling motor. A lot of the recommendations you'll hear to make your trolling motor easier is to replace your cord with stainless steel to push your foot down on the trolling motor as you're pulling it up, pull at a specific angle, the list kind of goes on. But really, all of those 
fixes and upgrades are just trying to overcome the friction of releasing your trolling motor pins. The way your trolling motor works is when you pull your cord, there are pins down in there that get released so your trolling motor can move. When those are greased, these pins slide effortlessly. This is me barely even pulling them. This has already been greased. So there's two main spots on the trolling motor that I recommend hitting with some grease. The first spot are those pins. Just a little bit of grease on the pins or in the channels they lock into will have your cord releasing them with, with no effort whatsoever. The other place is right here, right along this pivot point. A little grease here will have your trolling motor coming in and out of the boat much, much smoother. And again, you don't have to do this and your trolling motor won't break if you don't. But adding a little bit of grease to the hinge here and the, the nubs that get released will make using your trolling motor a thousand times easier. I promise you. All right, so that's it. Hitting those couple grease points around your boat will make trailering and using your boat a pleasure on the water and on the road. If you guys like this video, please consider subscribing for more just like it. If you guys have any questions, comments, or ideas for new videos, you know, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. Thanks, and I'll catch you next time.